Hello. I think this is working. But you know, I'm never really sure. Uh, you'll have to excuse my noise. It's hot in here. Uh, so I have all the windows open and I'm on a main drag in the city. You know how the light workers like to roll. Um, <clears throat> I will wait and see if somebody pops in here. I've had so many phone issues lately that I just want to make sure. Okay, somebody's watching. Okay, there we go. So I know that it is actually working. Whoo! Seriously. Back-to-back -back solar events have kind of been staying out of the loop and mostly off of Facebook. Um, but the solar energy coming in the last four days is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger like we knew it would, right? The thing that I wanted to talk about was the event, uh, the solar flash. The reason I want to talk about it is, of course, the clock that never works is going off. That, it must be time for the event. I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it's not going to go for a little bit, for a little bit longer. But I wanted to talk about the solar flash and the event. And the reason is... Even though I've been not really watching videos um, or reading much of anything, I've noticed there's been a big shift in the last year or two. I myself have talked about my experience in viewing the event ahead of time <clears throat> for the last couple of years. And I know we all see and experience different things. Um, there is a group of people, and I'm, names are not important, but there are many people that are still giving the same narrative that I've been hearing for a multitude of years, and there are other people that have completely and totally changed the narrative of what the event or solar flash means. So, old school, 2014, when I had my first experience or vision of the event, I had no idea what it was. And I tried searching things for months based on what I saw, and I couldn't find anything. Um, I think it was probably 2015 when I finally put some pieces together of what I had been seeing. Other, um, but it was a, it was about a year after I started seeing it before I even heard anybody else mention it. Um, what I saw was a solar event, um, and because it didn't. Because it was a vision and there were not any words that accompanied, accompanied what I saw, I had no idea what I was seeing, I had no idea what it was, and I didn't, really didn't even honestly know what to look up. I'm not going to backtrack or explain things because I'm kind of talking to people that have a certain level of understanding already, but the level of understanding is now being mired with a lot of confusion. We have... Um, and I don't know how long this has been talked about. I don't know how long this has been uh, written about or channeled about. I'm not sure because I'm, I was new to it about six years ago. But anyway, we have people now saying the same thing that I've been hearing and seeing for the last six years, that it's a big solar event. Um, there's escape plans and things like that. Um, I, this is, has nothing to do with fear. This is not a fear event either way, and I'm not coming on here from the perspective that this is a fear event. The reason why I'm coming on here is that the narrative has, has changed in the last, I would say, probably a year very, very greatly. What I'm hearing or seeing, even though I'm no longer researching it now, is that we are no longer in need of a solar flash. We are no longer going to have the event um, I see a lot of popular people with thousands and thousands of followers saying this kind of thing that we are not going to have one. In order for us to grow, and I know for myself and for everyone across the board, we have got to stay open to all possibilities. And so this is why I'm coming to you, is being open in the possibility it would really help if I turn my phone on silent. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so we have the old narrative that's been going on for a really long time. There's going to be a solar event, a solar flash, and A, B, and C are going to happen. 
for the last year or two we've had people saying that the solar event is not going to happen and not saying why they feel it's not going to happen or what their knowledge is to back this up. Now, we also have people now saying that we have somehow surpassed this or surpassed the need for this to actually happen, which could be the case. I'm not making a judgment. I just wanted to talk to you um, about what I feel and what I'm seeing with it. We also, um, I actually saw today, and I won't mention a name, whose post or whose comment, um, someone that's been following me for a couple years, made a comment on somebody else's post that was in mention of an Allison Co. video where the guy described the event, and that person's comment was the Galactic Federation made alterations, uh, a multitude of things happened, and we're now no longer going to have the solar flash. Since 2014, I have experienced within my own auric field the solar flash six different times from six different perspectives. The only thing that was the same in every single solar flash experience was the amount of light and the blissful feeling. Everything else changed. Um, I've experienced it from the ground. I've experienced it inside the houses of strangers. I've experienced viewing it uh, from, from more of a cosmic perspective. So I have no doubt that this is an actual happening. However, if you are familiar with the term Akashic Record, the Akashic Record states that it is a literal record or living library of everything that ever has been, is, or will be. In saying that, I don't want to make it complicated, but I will backtrack. On 7-7 of 2019, I experienced a vision, a physical shattering of the matrix, and I posted on 7-7 of 2019 that the matrix was down. I no longer experienced the matrix. I never, no longer experienced a certain kind of interference and all these things. The only reason I bring this up is because three months later I saw that someone was saying what I had said. There's no longer a matrix. We don't have these. Um, we're, we're more free. We're more sovereign. We can move without manipulation, these kind of things. Now, I continued to see people saying for two years, hey, today the matrix is down or I've experienced a matrix being down. So it's not right or wrong. But here's what I'm wondering. Is it that the event itself, the solar flash itself, is stored within the Akashic record itself? And when we hit a certain point within our DNA activation, that's when we experience that. Now, the reason I say that is because... And noticing that over the last two and a half years, I've seen so many different people say what I said about the matrix being gone. A friend of mine said, well, maybe these people are reading your stuff or watching your videos and just stealing your information. I, I really don't believe that that's it. I've never, one time in my massive sharing history in the last three years have I seen someone just blatantly stealing my stuff, not sharing, and I blocked that person. I don't think that's what's going on. I think that the biology, I am horrible at science, but the biology in us that is creative, that is attached to or connected to source and the Akashic field can have access to those things anytime they choose to or when the DNA is at a certain point, you may experience the matrix being down. You may experience psychic abilities. You, we all experience different things at different times. Does that mean that I didn't experience it, and does that mean that it didn't happen? Well, that's definitely not what that means. To me, it just means that it's all internal. Within our DNA actually lies the Akashic field. That is the physical residence. We know everything we need is already inside us, so why is it um, so out of question to think that the Akashic record actually is a physical part of uh, a makeup, a part of our makeup of our physiology itself, is what I'm trying to say. So, could I experience the solar event two years ago and somebody else experienced it yesterday and somebody experiences it tomorrow? I guess that is what I'm questioning. Now, 
the part of the brain that is the logic side of me says, but wait a minute, we've read and studied a lot on ancient prophecy and ancient history, and every single group that has ever existed on this planet, and there have been millions of us, they all have record of a solar flash. They all have, or Frasso Coretti, or it's called a thousand different things. But they all have record of it. So, you know, this is not a religious thing or anything else. Okay, it's a spiritual experience. I think most of us understand that at this point. Um, but if it's a religious experience, not a religious experience, but a spiritual experience or a, an internal awakening or some sort of DNA activation or a connection to our internal Akashic records, it can happen to anybody at any time. I will say that the solar um, activity within the last two years says we're already in it. In fact, I made a video a year ago saying this is the event right now. The solar stuff is amped up to the point that most of the times people don't know what day it is or what time it is or why they walked into another room. So I'm just wondering, and and I'm definitely open to suggestions, but again, that cognitive part of the brain that wants things to be figured out says, why would so many groups across this planet for a million years tell us about something if it wasn't a physical happening? Um the other part of me says, I've already experienced it so many times that maybe we don't all experience it at the same time. So if you guys have thoughts on this, um, I see a lot of back and forth between the people that are still... So there's people that are, were giving information about a solar event six years ago that today are giving the very same information. Is it because that information is accurate or is it because that person <clears throat> internally hasn't hit the next step where they see um, what's going on from there? I also see people that posted six years about it changing their perspective on it um, now. And then I also see a third perspective that is we don't need it anymore so it's not going to happen. Well, to me... If you have more information, if that's something you have a vision about or something you have information about, I would definitely love to know that part of it because to me, you can't just say, okay, well, it's not going to happen. We don't, we don't need it or so-and-so stepped in and made an alteration or whatever. <clears throat> I guess I'm not really understanding that part of it unless, and this is a very big unless, Unless it is possible that the frequency of those on planet Earth, a certain group of people have gotten to access the Akashic Record within and gotten to a certain activation, a level of activation that's never been seen before. So if we are in a space that's never been seen before, because we know there have people been people that have ascended. There's like 170 or 180, I think, cases proof of people physically ascending. So we know that's possible. But if it is possible that this is the first time, <coughs> excuse me, that the Earth is ascending and the planetary human population is ascending with it, Maybe it is possible that we ourselves have done it, but I don't, to me, and it's just, it's all my perspective, and my perspective changes every day. That's why I'm talking to you guys about it, asking questions. Um, I, th I find it absolutely fascinating. Anybody that's able to hold an absolutely open mind about what this means, is it possible that this many cultures over this many millions of years kept this many records of this kind of event if it was an internal event and not an external event. And if that is the case, does that then mean that a certain amount of the population being able to access, being able to be open to Akashic information, it, it could be very possible that we ourselves have changed that I believe that beings assist us every single day. We have family on the other side. We have angels. We have a whole huge realm of possibility there. But I don't believe, per se, that anyone is stepping in and 
done something for us. This is not about anybody doing anything for us. We know we have done so much of the work already or we wouldn't be having this conversation. So I find it fascinating that there are so many perspectives on this event that's been talked about literally and written about literally, as far as I can tell, 600,000 to a million years ago. So that is what I wanted to make this video about. Again, um, I'm, I, I'm always just staying open to perspective because I've been experiencing this since 2014. It has continually stayed. Um, the only thing that stayed the same is my openness to new information, my openness to what I see in visions, my, my openness to uh, the information from my higher self, and those people that are on the same wavelength as me, oftentimes I'll share something with you guys and then find out that 10 other people were just thinking that an hour ago, something like that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I want to put it out there. I want to see what you guys think about these, all these different perspectives. Um, I just, like I said, to me, this is just absolutely fascinating. And I just wanted to see... Uh, the other people that are open to the changing possibilities on a daily basis, what are you thinking about it? What are you feeling about it? Um, and stuff like that, okay? Thank you to all seven of you who are here. I'm having a real problem uh, with video circulation, but I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe seven people needed to hear this, so. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'd say right now there's enough solar energy to be in the middle of the event anyway. It's been on and off this way for the last couple of years. Um, it's been so strong. Uh, the symptoms of stuff, I'm actually on a fruit and vegetable water only diet at the, at the moment. Minus my, I'm down to one cup of coffee in the morning. But it's important, whatever it is, to stay, uh, to stay clear. I notice... I'll call it fasting because this is fasting for me just to be eating grapefruit and oranges and kale and lettuce and stuff like that. But incredible clarity within the last two days of doing this. So um, one thing I want to say, you can get ginger root in the store and what I do is rinse it off and freeze it. Then once it's frozen, it is super, super easy um, to grate it and make tea. It works for almost every ascension symptom out there. It, it works for a million different things, so that's an awesome thing. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is I know people drink, some people drink water, kombucha, things with lots of water in them. Just remember, especially, there's not, and there's nothing wrong with that. I will never make a food judgment on anybody. Just try to eat as clean as possible. It really make a, it makes a huge difference. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, when it gets hot and when we have solar flashing that's going on and these constant CMEs and stuff like that, one thing that really helps to keep the body cool is citrus. Um, but I would eat it as opposed to drinking that somebody else, something that somebody else squeezed in a factory. And the only thing else that I want to say when we're in the middle of solar flashes and having the extreme heat, that heat outside seems to come with it. I was told two years ago. The reason that this happens is because heat and humidity actually help us to assimilate to that. So that's good for you guys to know. It's hot. It's super hot. It's probably 85 in my apartment right now. Um, but the only other thing about the water is if you're drinking juice or making your own tea or whatever, that's great. Ginger tea, lemon, things like that are helpful for the ascension symptoms. However, anytime your body has to break something down to get the water out of it, you're making your body do extra work. Um, and in the middle of CMEs, coronomass ejection, in case somebody doesn't know what that means, um, you want your body to get as much rest and do as least amount of work as possible as far as breaking down food and breaking down things to get the water out of it. So do straight water if you can. Another thing that um, we did, we bought some shoe night and you've got to make sure that you actually get actual shoe night. It's only from a certain place in Russia. Apparently there are a bunch of 
knockoffs out there, but you can put it in your water. It takes eight hours. It's an antioxidant. It cleans out your entire system. It gets rid of all, all white and everything. So I highly suggest um, Shunite clean water, citrus, lemon water, ginger tea, all things that are, I, I could not, um, I would not be functioning this well um, in this heat without those things. And I'm also actually working outside, so it's tremendous. Whew. Okay, but I got to go. Uh, you guys take care. I'd love to hear what you think about all these versions and all these things that are going on in our reality. We all have a different reality, so we have to remember that, not be judgmental. I love you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.